Hey, how you doing out there? This is Colin Tanner from VideoGamesAreDumb.com, home of news, reviews, videos such as the first hour, and podcasts like The Pressure Cast, our weekly video game news podcast that posts every single Monday, and The Pressure Past, which is a retro video game news podcast that posts every Wednesday, because why not? Today, we are taking a look at the first hour of Saints Row 4 re-elected edition on the PlayStation 4. Now this game comes with all the DLC of Saints Row 4 and of course it's also on current gen which is nice so you get a little bit of frame rate but it also includes a brand new standalone DLC called Gat Out of Hell, a reference to the Meatloaf album Bad Out of Hell. Uh, no reference to Bad Out of Hell 2. Ugh. 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 No, no, no. So let's get right into it. Now, I played uh, Saints Row uh, 4 when it came out. They put options and extras? Are you kidding me? I played Saints Row 4 when it came out on the PC, so I already had all the whiz-bang graphics and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's invert that. I thought it was good. I'm a little disappointed that they're just re-releasing Saints Row 4 onto this uh, instead of uh, Saints Row the 3rd. Which is amazing. Centro 3rd is so good. But that's okay. We'll forgive them. Because maybe this Get Out of Hell game is going to be awesome. You like it the way it was meant to be played. Yes, I do, Saints Row 4 Get Out of Hell. I do like games the way they're meant to be played. What? Fairly visible. Whatever. Let's just go with the standard 50. Because I can't tell what they're trying to get me to see. Uh, yeah, Saints Row 4. It was okay. Not as good as Part 3. It was almost the exact same city. The superpower element kind of took away from some really cool factors in the original, like driving better and, you know, I, it was, Saints Row 4 was originally supposed to be DLC. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a man so exceptional that the divine hosts of heaven and hell were forced to take note. A man dangerous enough to bring Satan to his knees, but selfless enough to make God himself raise an eyebrow. How did this come to pass? Well, it all began at a very special birthday party for a very special young lady. Surprise! What is all this? It's your birthday, Kinsey. So? You've never been to a birthday party. No. Oh, like not even growing up? I went to the school of the Americas since kindergarten. We didn't really do birthday parties. But you celebrated Christmas? I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh, Kinsey, this is going to be so much fun. Zinjai made a cake. Jane Austen is here. We'll play some games. What sort of games? Celebrate birthdays by trafficking with spirits? It's spooky and fun. It's a bunch of letters. It's tradition. Every slumber party has to involve a spirit board. Slumber party? How's it work? We ask it a question, and the spirit of the board will reveal the answer. How? Yeah, someone pushes the pointy thing to wherever they want. Wait, wait, wait. Can we go back to you and your slumber parties? No time. All right. Everyone put their hands on the cursor. Cursor? I feel the magic already. All right. Will the president slash god emperor for life ever choose a partner to reign alongside them? No. Ooh, someone's getting married. Shut up, Matt. Who will tame the president's wild heart? <laughs> what are you guys trying to spell? I'm not moving it. That's the spirit, Kinsey. I'm serious. I'm not moving it either. Neither am I. Jezebel? Jezebel. Who the fuck is... <laughs> Normal? Where'd you get the board? I was going through Zinyak's artifact collection and found it there. Who did it belong to? Alistair Crowley? Um, guys, I think it's laughing at us. <laughs> Fuck this. I think you're a smart.
smart enough piece of wood to see where this is going. Now, you ready to cooperate? That's more like it. You think we can trust it? It's not like we got a lot of options. So what's the plan? We mount up and go in after the boss? No, I do. No sense in what's left of humanity walking right into a death trap. Someone's got to live to tell the story. That's a stupid plan, Johnny. I'm leaving you in charge. Hell of a plan, Johnny. Are you serious? I'm coming, too. Are you kidding me? How do you plan to come back? Yeah, I try not to sweat the details. You need someone with you that does. No. It's my birthday. Fine. All right, then. You know where my friend is? True to its word, the spirit board opened up another portal and sent Johnny and Kinsey screaming into hell. You know, I gotta say, this is written very well. That's not 60 frames a second. That's like 30? Maybe like 40? Now we're getting up to 60, we're dipping back down to like... Wow. Altor's behind this, I know it. Altor and the Saints haven't been enemies in years. You really think he's responsible? You don't know him like I do. The boss put him through a window for a reason. The reason was the boss was kind of fucking crazy back then. That's a fair point. You know how much easier this would be if we just found a car? You know how much easier this would be if you just gave me a second? Yeah, look at that. Not getting a steady 60 frames a second. Am I doing something wrong? Let's give the game the ban for the doubt and just see what, what they're saying here. Uh, V-Sync on the gameplay? No. Okay. V-Sync in cutscenes? Yes. Well, okay, if it's telling us that they don't want V-Sync on, let's stick with it. But it's not 60 frames. Like, oh my god, 60 frames! Look at 60 frames, everybody! And then we're not 60 frames, because we're looking at too much stuff. Okay. And, okay. Ooh, sweet, a motorcycle. Off the bike. <laughs> it's just like a demon or something. How are we gonna find the Eltor building? Biggest building down here. Giant altar sign on it. I don't think this is a problem. I'll buy that. Oh, wow, she's just gonna steal her own car. Cool. All right, we gotta use the touch screen to access the map. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. You know, I'm, I am going to turn the brightness up a smidge here. It is pretty dark. Oh, now the display settings are better. There we go. That's better. Oh my god, so much better. Couldn't even see what was going on before. Oh no! Frame rate, no! Not 60 frames. I mean, this is essentially a last-gen title. Are you always this excited? Generally, I'm the missing broke. I get it. I mean, if uh, it, it looks better than it did on uh, you know, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, there's. No denying that, there's definitely some improvements here. Draw distances alone look a lot better. So this is hell. Not as bad as I thought. It kind of reminds me of Steelport. Controls are a little funky on the motorcycle here. It's having a lot of difficulty turning. It is nice to see a new environment because, like I said, Saints Row 4 did have some new environments, but for the most part, you were just at Steelport. I'll probably still shoot him in the face. Uh 
Let's get a good look at these zombies here. It's so funny, they're just not attacking you, it's just... Whoa. Why are they shooting at her? I think we may have got the attention of the demons. How do we want to handle this? We handle it by killing demons. Alright. Welcome to hell. Shouldn't you have a receptionist? Such is the plight of eternal damnation. I have a feeling you didn't come here to catch up. Let's talk in my office. Yeah, that frame rate's not good. It's not good. Not even death could stop the enterprising Vogel, who wasted no time in setting up an altar branch in the bowels of hell. Dane was eager to fill Johnny in on the ever-shifting politics of land rights in the underworld. But real estate mattered little to Johnny, who only cared where his friend was. Where'd you put the president? I've been trying to explain that I didn't take them. Bullshit. You expect me to believe you just happen to be the first thing we see in hell. Maybe it's just me, but your thank you sounds more like an accusation. That's probably because he plans to kill you. Okay. I get the trust issues. Can I show you something? The pieces all came together. The president had caused more chaos and destruction than any other in human history. It was only natural that Satan would want them to marry his daughter. They needed a plan. And Johnny had one. I'm gonna shoot the devil in the face. I think you might be skipping some details. No, I said in the face. I like the commitment, but you gotta find a way to get close enough to him in the first place. When's the wedding? I'll just show up and... and then you'll shoot him in the face. Sorry, but it's a little more complicated than that. These things are tied to the soul. You won't be able to enter without one. So how do we get one? You get his attention. I know some places that are of particular value to the father of the bride. You hit those, you'll get your shot. Wait, why would Satan give out an invitation for destroying his stuff? Oh, he won't, but it should piss him off enough to get him to attack Johnny personally. Either the devil kills Gat and Ultor gets the construction contracts to rebuild what was destroyed, or Johnny kills Satan and I'll have to pay less taxes. Pretty win-win. That's why you're helping us? To make more money in hell? Hell's what you make of it, sweetie. Works for me. What you got? All right. Satan had entrusted the day-to-day -day running of hell to five archdukes, and they knew how to find them all. But beyond that, not everyone in hell was content to go along with Satan's status quo. There were others who shared Dane's ambition for power, and the Altor mogul knew that the key to unseating Satan lie in gaining their aid. But before Johnny set out to wage war against the Prince of Darkness, Dane had one final gift. An artifact that he had spent fortunes on. Lucifer's Cracked Halo. This holy relic granted Johnny the majestic wings of the Morning Star. However, he still needed help in learning how to use them. Okay, then. I guess you will have all those superpowers from St. Tro 4, which all makes right, sense. You got me out in the sticks. Now what? Would it kill you to show a little excitement? You're about to experience angelic flight, for Christ's sake. Dane. Someone needs a nap. Just collect some soul clusters and power up the halo. You'll be flying around in no time. Frame rate looks a little better. Now you should have just enough clusters to power up your halo. All right, so what are we doing here? Go to Archive, Flight, Super Sprint, Flight, well, duh. You can now launch into the air. Perfect for getting the altitude to engage flight. Hold X to charge your jumps and leap farther, higher, up, 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 up. Okay. And Super Sprint. Now, Super Sprint was in uh, Saints Row 4. So were Super Jumps. Let's 
Start slow. Try to jump over to that next island. Also, the longer you charge your wings before jumping, the further you'll go. Yep. Hey, you didn't fuck it up. Good job. Now get up that cliff. Don't worry. If something looks too high, just now it's time to fly. You heard of crawling before walking? Well, in this case, you need to jump before you can fly. Ah. Launch yourself in the air with a jump, and then hold your wings out to glide to that next island. I put out some orbs. You'll have to dive to reach the next island. Do that by pointing your head down. Don't worry. The rest of your body will follow. It, it controls kind of weird, but I can see how this will work. Flap orb out in front of you. Collect the orb, and your wings will flap to gain speed. All right, now try flapping those wings on your own. Do a flap on your way to the next island. Yeah. The exact opposite of diving is climbing. Climbing will slow you down and eventually cause you to stall. And trust me, stalling sucks. You can flap while gliding to gain additional speed. So the faster you're going, the higher you can fly. Now try to reach the island up there. All right, time to take the training wheels off for the final lesson. Flying takes stamina. If you run out in midair, you are going to drop like a rock. A stupid, stupid, stamina-less rock. Last island is right under those lava falls. Notice how your stamina drains the longer you glide. All right. God, this feels good. So the little white bar around that circle, you see the blue circle? The white one is the stamina. The old tour building. I want to run through all the stuff you can do to hurt Satan. Sure thing. See you soon. Okay. Pretty interesting. Here's the deal. If you want some face time with Satan, you need to get his attention. Now, Satan hates being challenged, so anything you do to undermine his control is good. Fraud, mayhem, shooting demons in the face, anything. You can keep track of Satan's wrath with this handy meter. Get it high enough and you'll be having drinks with Big Red in no time. I've compiled a list of shit to do, so take a look and do whatever sounds fun. Oh, one more thing. We have some potential allies down here. Trust me, you want to impress them. Okay, I'm interested. Uh, yeah, the flying feels a little weird, but I think I'll get used to it as it goes on. A little stiff, a little bit. The only problem is you already don't need a car. Like, there's no reason to actually use cars in this game. Pick it up. I mean, unless you wanted to. Not something ridiculous like a hundred of these to find. All right, let's uh, check out the quest log. New upgrades. Yeah, these all cost a lot now. All right. Cool. Quest log, upgrades. What are upgrades? Health, weapons. So this all costs money. All right. Bonuses. Health. Uh, well, if I already have the money, yeah. Let's upgrade health. Upgrade pistol. It's a shame you can't use the touchpad to scroll through any of these options. You just kind of press it and it just happens. Uh, sure. Alright, let's see if uh, any of that. Alright, let's uh, get over to... Well, I guess I didn't figure out where I'm going. Quest log... Activities... Let's take a quick look at some of these activities. Rambulance kills. That thing with the ambulance looks pretty cool. So let's go do that.
Let's see if there's fall damage. There is not. Okay. Uh, let's. Oh my God. What do I gotta do? Um, so this just feels more like they're just a bunch of achievements. Like it's just keeping track of things. Alright, so one hit kills and headshot kills. I guess let's just go shoot some people, huh? To sell. Find a way to control life. There we go. Headshot kill. This reminds me of that one time I killed a lot of people. Headshot kill. Nice bike. Mine now. Whoa. I gotta turn up the uh, sensitivity. This is painfully slow. Hopefully they didn't turn the sensitivity down to hide the... Uh, Hide the uh, pretty subpar frame rate. I hope not. Headshot. What's this? All right, so we're doing hell blazing. All right, buddy, let's take this opportunity to stretch those wings. I've set up a rudimentary flight path through the city. All you need to do is hit the checkpoints in the order they appear. Now, because I'm a swell guy, I put some orbs out there to help you. The white ones will recharge your wings. The green ones will give you more stamina. Let's go. Okay, sounds good. So there's not really a mission, per se. You just have to complete some of these. I guess they did the same thing in, like, Saint Row. Okay. They always make you do some side stuff for a while, and yeah, that's just how it goes. Because they want you to explore the city, and then when you feel comfortable, then they're going to make you do a bunch of missions. Yeah, this frame rate is not so good. It's not horrible, but by... Oh, crap. Crap, crap. Oh, oh no. But by, like, you know, current gen standards, it's not great. It seems to be unsteady. Really unsteady. So, how is this pissing off Satan? <laughs> I'm flying around collecting orbs. Yeah. Take that, devil. I don't know if I quite get it, but okay. Alright, yeah, you just stay in the lava there. That's good. Alright. Meh. Meh. It's okay. I mean, they, they pretty much had the exact same mode in... Regular Saints Row. Oh wait, wait, wait! Wasn't there something I could do with the ambulances? Let's see how this thing handles. <laughs> really didn't have a chance. Oh, so I have to kill 200 people with an ambulance. Oh, a rambulance. Okay.
So here's my thing about Saints Row. I'm driving around in an ambulance in hell, and I'm killing all these zombies. Or, or dead souls, right? That's interesting, and that's original. But the problem is, is that it's not nearly as cool as if I was doing it in, you know, quote-unquote, the real world. Everyone's chasing the stygian and dream down here. A way to make hell just a little more tolerable. When you're oh, I got these swords? Believe me, it's easy to find people who lay it all on the line next to nothing. Some folks think I had all this handed to me and I take advantage of people, but here's the... I'm gonna switch, switch guns. In life and in death, I work for everything that I have. Opportunities mean fuck all if you do nothing with them. Most of these poor bastards down here whine about the last life, but are unwilling to do anything about it. That I I don't I don't understand what that guy's saying. The audio mix is pretty bad. Um. Uh, this seems kind of aimless, doesn't it? Maybe it's just me, but it's like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Activate the altar. Okay, we'll do that. Not me. Yeah, he can't run up the walls yet. I assume that'll be happening at some point. Ugh, no. Frame rate bad. <laughs> Stay steady, frame rate, please. Alright, let's activate the altar. Ooh, ancient stone altar. Wonder what it does. What is that? I think I go up and then I actually don't know how to stomp. Now that's a pretty impressive chunk of stone. Okay. Wonder how to turn it off. Ooh. Ancient stone altar. Wonder what it does. Yeah, now nothing's nothing's doing this here. Stone. Why are there just explosions happening all the time? Ancient stone oh my god, stop saying that. Alright, maybe I have to be unarmed. Wonder what it does. Nope. Okay. Alright, let's go under options. That's where all the fun happens. And figure out how to stomp? Melee bash is R3. I pressed R3. Maybe I don't have stomp yet. Could that really be it? That can't be it. That would be stupid. Yeah, okay, so that's dumb. I don't know how to stop. This looks old and expensive. Yeah, show me how to stop. Show me how to stop. You dumbass game, show me how to stop. Okay. Wow. All right. Red flag coming right up. So far, frame rates all over the goddamn place. They're not even explaining how to do any of these goddamn moves. Select stomp. Okay. It doesn't work. It doesn't even work on the D-pad. I I'm not making this up. L look. Look, it says you press right on the D-pad, and that's how you uh, that's how you select stomp. Now it's saying, "Fuck!" So you can't stomp yet, but they're gonna tell you that you can stomp, or they're asking you to stomp because they have these areas open, but you can't stomp yet, so there's nothing you can do. Uh uh, you are not doing so hot right now, Saint Tro. Get out of hell. That's kind of dumb. That's kind of dumb design. Ooh, ancient stone altar. Stop saying that. Gotta pick it up. All right. 
I'm just going to go out and say it. If you have a PC, I would probably recommend getting this on PC. I played Saints Row 4 on PC. It doesn't have these frame rate issues. There's lots of ways to get Satan's attention, but we should never forget the class. Rampant fucking murder. Pride is a sin the Devil's Army has in spades, so if you want to pick a fight, you can bet your ass they're coming in droves. All right, this should be easy. Got the old pistol. Run. Man, the auto lock is all over the place on this. Eh, better switch it up. Pump action shotgun. All right. Did I get another gun? Okay, there you go. SMG. There we go. SMG sounds like the way to go for me. Rapid fire. That's what I likes. And it sucks. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not liking any of these guns. It's, I, you know, it's like I'm pressing right trigger and it doesn't always shoot. It's weird. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, hmm. Ah, oh, nuts. I actually killed him. <laughs> I was going for the other guy. This seems to be the most feasible option because the attacks are so weak. I What was that even supposed to be? I couldn't even see any of it. Oh, this feels pretty rushed. This feels like a rushed game. Honestly, if you were to tell me that this was like a fan mod, I would believe it. I would believe it. Except for those pretty funny cutscenes. This is no good. Holy crap. All right. All the gold. Hmm. Let's do some upgrades. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. This is pretty rough. Like, Saints Row 4 isn't my favorite by any stretch of the imagination. But it's not this... Whatever this is. Because this isn't good. Better go look up some more quests. Why would even look up the quests? It's just faster to look it up on the map. Yeah, you don't recover stamina in the air. Alright. Okay, I have a thought on how we can get the attention of Satan, and I really think you're gonna like this one. Blow the shit out of everything, and I mean everything! Demons, cards, and this is a real popular. Just tear this place apart. Sounds good to me. I can be up for that. I don't even know what these guys are. I guess they're something. Like the police force or whatever, like higher up in terms of enemies. Maybe it's just me, but are they taking hell a little bit too seriously for Saints Row? Like, is this just a little too, like, demonic, like hardcore kind of attitude for them. Oh, man. Alright. Like, I don't want to do this in hell. I want to do it in a real city because that makes it more outrageous. If I'm doing it in hell, it's like, yeah, sure. Lots of bad stuff happens in hell. Ugh. Oh. I keep doing that by accident. Oh, I'm not even doing this on purpose, I swear. Well, frame rate went back up and back down again. I don't know, this is kind of okay. It's just too dark and dingy. That's boring. I want it. I want it to be sunny and happy, and I murder everything. Like that's what made Saints Row so funny is like it's this perfect utopia city and it's like metropolis and you're freaking you know Lex Luthor going through there and just killing everything like that's cool having like some dark and dingy dungeon that you're just blowing up it's like yeah but it's already crap what am I destroying I feel like I just went to a dump and I'm just kicking garbage around like that's not very exciting I want to take a sledgehammer to Best Buy that's exciting
All right. Quest log. And... I don't know. I don't care. Let's do activities. What do we got left? Let's just go back to Altor because I'm just curious to see if that will progress the story. We only have about 20-ish minutes left on here. Yeah, guys, nah. Nah. Yeah. This ain't it. This ain't this is not what I want from my Saints Row. Especially with the bad, bad, bad frame rate. No good frame rate. I mean, and it doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense to me. I mean, 8 gigabytes in the PlayStation 4 should be able to produce a more consistent frame rate than this. I mean, we're talking about the same system that's putting out, like, The Last of Us HD. And you're like, whoa, now that's an improvement. You can actually switch it from 30 to 60 frames, and you're like, yeah, this game looks good. This... This does not look good. Switch characters? Really? That's it? Don't mind if I do. Alright. That's cool, I guess. I mean, this is Kinsey. I still remember Kinsey's name because Kinsey was such a cool character in Saints Row 3. I mean, if you're wondering, hey, should I buy Saints Row 4 on the PlayStation 4? It is only fifty dollars. Uh, maybe. Depends what you're looking for in a game. It's it's fun. It's okay. It's not great. Saints Row 3 is great. It is absolutely great. All right. Salvation mode. All right, it's salvation time. Satan's using his magic to send souls skyward and downward into oblivion. That's where you come in. Catch the falling souls before they hit ground and use an arcane blast to free the souls rising upward. Of course, once you do that, you'll still have to catch them before they drift off to their death. Speed is key here. You'll get a bonus for every soul you can save before touching down. Now let's go save some clients. I mean souls. Four poor souls that need help. Do they even introduce the Arcane Blast yet? Am I doing something wrong here? Like, what did I do wrong? I mean, I know how to do that because I already played. What? What the hell? Uh. No. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad DLC. What a bummer, man. Oh, the flight controls are so bad. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want to play this anymore. I don't want to play this anymore. Ugh. It's like you're controlling a plane. That's not good. It sucks to fly a plane in these open world games. Okay, you can point out that it's arbitrary, but if it's still in the game, fuck you. It's like, I'm sorry, I bumped into a light post and that...
What just happened? I just like teleported. Did I collect that guy or not? Like, what is... Mm, nope. Get out of hell is pretty bad for the first hour here. I mean, you have to level up all your attacks and all that, which is dumb, because how long is this game really going to be? Oh, God. Come on. Let me just... Oh, God. All right. I passed, barely. Jeez. Oh, it take him two weeks to put this together? God. Well, that's not fair. I'm sure that a lot of people worked very hard on this game, and I don't like it. It's not very good. Saints Row 3, baby. Just really Saints Row 3, and everything will be forgiven. God damn. Collect stomp power. Really? Really? I mean, I hate when people say really. I think it's obnoxious when people say really. But you know what? Really? I had to collect the stomp power over in this arbitrary area on the map? Come on! You take care of that, not me. You're the video game. You're supposed to say, hey, you should collect that power, because you should collect that power. I mean, it's cute to be all like, uh, do whatever sounds fun, bye, have fun, bye, but no, no, you need that power. You need to be able to stomp, otherwise you can't do certain activities that are already unlocked and available on the map. No, no get out of hell. Shame, shame on you get out of hell. Ridiculous. Now this area of the city looks a little more interesting. I'll give it that much. I mean, how long is this supposed to be? Because seriously, if I'm like leveling up to like play a five hour game, like come on. Then we gotta turn on flap two. Hover in midair by holding L2, then tap R1 to initiate your power. What? What? <laughs> Alright. Alright. This is bad. All right, cool. Let's see what these things can do. Right up. William Shakespeare, humanity's greatest playwright. And hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment looks on as a brave mortal on an Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his visitor's mettle. The masked tragedies were used to enemies cowering as they approached. But soon they realized that they faced a foe with courage and nobility. Traits uncommon in the fires of perdition. Hey, the frame rate looks a lot better now that we're not in the open world, huh? Look at this. 
That's a lot better. And then automatically there's some collision detection for the camera. Oh, I had my gun all along? The inciting incident resolved. The time has come for rising action. The battle raged on below, and as bullets and blood flew, the bard arched a curious eyebrow. Could this mortal be the exact thing that Shakespeare needed? Yeah, all right. What, I can't use this weapon, but all right, whatever. Shakespeare eagerly awaited meeting the champion that dispatched so many of his men. Undoubtedly, they were here for the Bard's aid. And while happy endings were not a thing found in hell, Shakespeare always had a soft spot for comfort. That was weird. It had like an enemy on there. In the land of the living, William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. However... To the denizens of hell, the bard is seen in a far different light. After selling his soul for fame and adoration, Shakespeare served in hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, he cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had not counted on the bard's cunning. Embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. That's an uh, interesting story. And so Shakespeare called forth the Deus Ex Machina to bestow our protagonist with the arcane power of Force Stomp. Uh -huh. Wow, that's cool. Revenge, interesting. In which the box now I'll do a little bit of a tutorial on this. Lights up. The mortal stands in the training grounds, eager to try out his new force stomp power on the group of demons in front of them. Scene two, in which our protagonist kills more demons with the act two, in which our protagonist is greeted by foul imps. Act three, in which our protagonist learns that Force Stomp even works on flying enemies, enabling them to remove a dark inciter shield before shooting them to death with bullets. The day is won. And the curtain closes on our noble hero. Eh. Eh. 
I think they really should have just, you know, told you to go there and get Force Stomp right away. We'll swap out with Gat one more time. <sighs> Looking forward to stretching my wings. A damn soul's orientation guide, chapter one. The dead. I can't actually see that I have the GPS because the UI is covering it up. Oh, ye of questionable morality. Who you were on Earth no longer matters. When you arrive here, everyone from the mightiest crime lord to the elderly gentleman who takes pens from banks begin the same way as wretched ghouls wandering the streets. As a shadow Maybe of a man, I can crush this thing. Your sins are condemned to a meaningless existence. Eternal. Hey, looks like you kicked the dust off one of those ancient altars. Whenever you find the right power to activate one of these things, and let's be honest, you have four to choose from. It's not rocket science. You'll be imbued with the new arcane element for that power. It sounds too good to be true. Well, it kind of is. Once you steal the power from the altar, a bunch of guardians will appear and try to kill you. But if you use your new power to clear them out, it's yours to see. Okay, that's that's not a bad way to do it. Mm. In which our heroes are didactically informed that the vacuum stomp draws enemies towards you. In a fight. Why does it always switch me automatically to melee weapons? Like, what the hell? Like, every time it starts up, I'm back at a melee weapon. This game has some technical issues. Return to the altar, okay. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the first hour. Uh, get out of hell. Thoughts? Um, no. No, no, no. No, thank you. No, sir. Please come again. Uh, Santro, the series is pretty good all in all, especially part three. But this version of Santro 4 just feels overly dark and rushed and it's the the intro was really funny but everything else feels kind of self-serious and i don't know it's it's just missing something and like i said destroying some dark and dingy ugly environment is not nearly as cool as destroying pristine new items i mean it's just not as inspired and honestly, I can't help but get the feeling that it's just easier to create those crappy environments. So they go, oh, it's hell. And it's just easier to put that out as a game. I don't know. Uh, should you play it? No. 
Should you play Saints Row 4? Maybe. It's kind of like, uh, you know, a superhero open world game with guns. I think it plays better than this. Uh, and the story is uh, a, a lot cooler. You're literally the president and you're fighting aliens in virtual reality. That's really cool. This whole fighting in hell thing, eh, not for me. Not for me, kids. But yeah, please go to videogamesaredumb.com, uh, which will be opening up soon. You can already go there and you can check out episodes of the Pressure Cast and uh, Pressure Past and more episodes of the First Hour. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you for the next episode of the First Hour. Thanks for watching.